Police are telling us that there was many 60 people fighting in the streets involved in this. KGW's Mike Benner joins us live downtown. Really unfortunate, Mike, because this certainly wasn't representative of the way things were going this May Day. Not at all, Dan. It was a peaceful day of protesting. In fact, uh, tonight, Portland police sent out a press release saying that aside from some uh, blocked streets, there were no arrests and no use of force by officers. As that information was coming into our newsroom, madness in the streets of Northeast Portland. Take a look. An all-out brawl in the streets of Northeast Portland. By the looks of it, Antifa in the right-wing group Patriot Prayer, clashing at what was advertised as a May Day after party. Make no mistake about it, these two groups do not like each other. Tonight was no different. It was a violent end to an otherwise peaceful May Day. Hours earlier, we watched as a crowd marched around the South Waterfront and rallied outside the ICE building. It was rowdy, but drama-free. Following that, a crowd of hundreds gathered at Holiday Park in Northeast Portland. There were speeches and dancing too. No sign of trouble. It's awesome. It's great to have so many people here. Um, this is meant to be a festival of resistance, so it's a joyous occasion. Celebrate um, international workers around the world in solidarity with folks who are um, in the struggle against fascism, against capitalism, um, and for rights for, for everybody. And again, not long after that event at Holiday Park ended, there was the brawl in Northeast Portland. And uh, by the time officers arrived, we can tell you that Antifa and Patriot Prayer had separated. Uh, nobody wanted to be a victim. Nobody wanted to file a police report. But we can tell you this is still an open investigation, and you can count on detectives to look at any and all video of the event. Back to you. Mike Benner with the latest. Thanks, Mike.